10 Best Taijutsu Battles in Naruto, ranked. Characters like Rock Lee and Mike Guy were proof that even people who could not use ninjutsu could easily match up to even the most powerful of foes. Naruto introduced its fans to a plethora of unique jutsu and various other deadly fighting styles, with one of the most underrated styles of combat being taijutsu. This fighting technique involved hand-to-hand -hand combat. As well as physical attacks against one's opponents pure taijutsu attacks did not demand any chakra, so several taijutsu specialists used ninjutsu to enhance their attacks and opt for a great- 10. Rock Lee vs. Gara in the first round of the Chunin exams During the first round of the Chunin exams, Rock Lee was paired against Gara, a then bloodthirsty monster who derived satisfaction from killing people indiscriminately. Gara always carried a gourd with him that contained sand, which protected him out of its own accord. Before his fight with Lee, it seemed like Gara was untouchable. However, Lee used his incredible speed and taijutsu abilities to break through the ever shifting sand shield, landing several powerful attacks that left a shocked Gara riling. In fact, he used the forbidden but powerful technique of primary lotus against his opponent completely blindsiding him. Even though Rock Lee lost the match, by fighting Gara, he achieved something no one had ever been able to. A fact that was also acknowledged by Gara's siblings. 9. Rock Lee vs. Kimimaro during the Sasuke rescue mission When Naruto was going after Sasuke, he was stopped on the way by Kimimaro. Rock Lee intervened and asked Naruto to go ahead with his mission. While he fought Kimimaro. In the beginning, the bone specialist ninja was able to anticipate and dodge all of Lee's attacks. However, when Lee drank his medicine and became drunk, he became increasingly unpredictable in his attacks of the drunken fist. Lee also performed the primary lotus on his opponent, but was stopped short by his peculiar bones. Even though Lee lost the battle, he did his job of keeping Kimimaro occupied while Naruto went after Sasuke. 8. Rock Lee vs. Shira during the Chunin exam's second part. This match was a true taijutsu battle where two masters of the art, Rock Lee and Shira, went up against each other during the second part of the Chunin exams. After normal hand-to-hand -hand combat revealed that both of them were almost equally matched, they stepped their games up. Rock Lee started with opening the third gate of life and went up to the fifth gate of closing. Shira employed the seven heavenly breaths technique, a technique that allowed him to take in at least four times more oxygen, something that he had invented on his own. It was a battle of the finest. Until Shira fell to the ground, causing a previous wound to reopen and start bleeding. When he saw Shira was in no condition to fight anymore, Lee postponed the match. 7. Choji vs. Jirobo during the Sasuke rescue mission While on a mission to rescue and bring back Sasuke, the Leaf Shinobi encountered the Sound 4 ninja as their opponents. Shikamaru left Choji to fight Jirobo, a ninja with extreme physical strength, which he could enhance if he went into the second level of the cursed seal form. Choji used his clan's special secret pills to gain enough power to fight his opponent, and combined it with heavy blows from his partial expansion jutsu. When the first and second pills weren't enough, he ate the chili pill, one that could have caused him to die. The effects of the pill were so strong that his entire physique changed, and he then used his immense power to land a murderous punch right at Jirobo's heart, thus killing him. 6. Niji Hyuga vs. Kadamaru during the Sasuke rescue mission Niji was a taijutsu specialist, which was the specialty of the Hyuga clan. During the mission to rescue Sasuke, he went up against Kadamaru, one of the sound four ninja who had four hands and could make spiderwebs out of his spit. Even though Kadamaru preferred to attack from afar, he was adequate at taijutsu as well. Niji used the gentle fist technique and the eight trigrams 64 palms to fight his opponent and his spiders. 
The fight ended when Niji won after dealing a few deadly blows to the spider ninja. 5. Sakura Lady Chio vs. Sasori His Puppets Sasori was an Akatsuki member and a master of puppets, who went up against Lady Chio and Sakura at an Akatsuki hideout. When Lady Chio could not use her puppets anymore, Sakura volunteered to be controlled by her so that she could fight Sasori. This fight scene showcased just how strong Sakura had become after her training with Tsunade, as she dealt devastating blows after blows to Sasori and his puppets. Under the guidance of Lady Chio, and killed him toward the end of the fight. 4. Might Guy vs. Kisame when he infiltrated their hidden island. When Kisame was caught spying from inside Samahata, the shinobi had to stop him from sending intel to the Akatsuki. None of the ninjutsu attacks worked on him because he could easily absorb chakra. Might Guy went up against him, and since his attacks did not involve chakra, he was able to land multiple hits on the shark man. To counter Kisame's thousand hungry sharks, he used the Asakujiku technique. However, there were too many of them, so he opened the seventh gate of shock and landed a single, monstrous blow of the Hiradora and finally defeated him. 3. Madara vs. Allied Shinobi Soldiers in the Fourth Great Ninja War once Madara was revived during the Fourth Great Ninja War, he went straight to work and started attacking the Allied Shinobi forces. Scores of soldiers attacked him simultaneously, yet not a single one of them was able to land even a single scratch on him. He moved at an incredible pace, dodging and parrying. And dealing blows after blows of attacks. It soon became clear that the Shinobi soldiers were no match for him, and he defeated them all. 2. The Kage vs. Madara Uchiha during the Fourth Great Ninja War Tsunade was famous all over the ninja world for her monstrous, earth-shattering strength. The Reikage was also known for his speed and taijutsu skills. During Madara's fight with the five Kage, they were getting overwhelmed by his power and attacks. When he brought out his Susanu, Tsunade, who had been serving the role of a healer until then, stepped in and joined the fight. She charged and punched the Susanu, cracking it at impact. Seeing her, the other Kage sprung into action. Anoki and Rakage attacked the Susanu from behind. Where Anoki used the weighted boulder technique to amplify Rakage's lateral bolt of pain. Tsunade kicked the Susanu from the front, effectively shattering it. 1. Might Guy vs. Madara Uchiha during the Fourth Great Ninja War This was one of the fiercest fights in the entire series, and would easily beat most ninjutsu fights if it were a competition. It seemed like Might Guy, a taijutsu master, was the only one who could defeat Madara with his physical attacks. Guy straightaway opened the seventh gate of shock, which was one gate short of the gate of death. When that did not work, he opened the eighth gate of death and used the Sakizo evening elephant technique where he delivered a series of devastating blows. In his ultimate attack, he activated the night guy mode where the red vapor around him took the form of a dragon. Although Guy eventually lost the battle, even Madara acknowledged his power and declared him as the strongest of all taijutsu opponents he had ever faced. <laughs>